Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy steamed fish Chinese style. I've got a nice piece of halibut here. It's nice and fresh. I have some scallions that I'm going to steam on top of it with some ginger. And I've got some napple cabbage leaves here. I'm going to place the fish on top of to steam. And then I have some more scallions that I'm going to use at the end. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I've got this steam basket and as you can see it can be um, made smaller or bigger depending on the size of your pot. And I'm just going to line it with some of these Napa cabbage leaves just to keep the fish from sticking to it. You could use any vegetable or parchment paper if you'd like. And then I have some uh, Chinese cooking wine. You could also use sherry or some white wine. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit on top. We're going to put a little bit of salt on top, and then we're just going to place our scallions on top, and some ginger. And this is going to go right into our pot. Okay, so I have a pot of water that's come to boil, and then I'm just going to put my steamer basket in. And we're going to cover the pot. And I'm going to cook this on medium, steam it for, I think it probably needs 10 minutes at most. Uh, so of course it'll depend on the kind of fish that you have, and the size and the thickness. Uh, but this one I'm going to say about 10 minutes. You want it until the, uh, the fish uh, basically is flaky um, and cooked through, but not overdone. Okay, I think our fish is done. So I'm going to turn the heat off, and then I'm going to gently transfer the fish onto a plate. A little tricky here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Took that little piece of cabbage there, and then I'm going to make the topping. Now the one thing we're going to do is we're going to take this off. I'm eating this myself, so that's why I'm using my fingers. <laughs> you can use a fork or a spoon. And then I'm going to put the fresh scallion on top. And then now I'm going to do my little trick, which is I'm going to go heat up some sesame oil, put a little ses soy sauce on top of here, um, and then you'll see the final dish. Okay, now this is the trick. I have some sesame oil. And I'm just going to heat that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually sprinkle our fish with a little bit of soy sauce. Um, and you want to be careful because when you pour the hot um, sesame oil on top, it's going to splatter. But here's my piece of fish just steamed. With a little bit of soy sauce on top. And then once this, the uh, sesame oil is heated, we're going to come over to the sink actually, and I'm going to just drizzle the hot sesame oil on top. Okay, so I have my fish that has the fresh scallions on it, and I've got some hot sesame oil. So here is the magic trick. So basically, I'm going to pour some of this on top, and you're going to hear that sizzle, and what that does is it just quickly cooks the scallion just a little bit and add some flavor to that sesame, the uh, soy sauce. And there you are. This took 10 minutes to steam and then maybe another couple of minutes just to make the topping and we're all done.